Okay, Peter here, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a Facebook lead form ad for one of your Learn to Meditate classes. So, we're going to go through it step by step, and I'm going to use Sue Bromley, one of our leaders here in Adelaide, who's just starting up new classes at the Theberton Community Centre. She's created this uh, poster for herself. Uh, but I want to create a lead form and all the information is on here. So let's go across and start creating a uh, lead form ad. So the one we want here is this lead generation. Okay. And I shall call it Sue's class Theberton. Theberton. And uh, we don't really want to create a uh, split test. And we'll put the daily budget here at, say, $5 a day. So $5 a day. Uh, and we'll run it for about a week. So that'll give us $35. And we'll see if we can get, I don't know, let's say four or five people interested. That would be great is if we could get four or five people keen to come along on the first night for $35. I think that would be, you know, a, a good uh, spend of money. So we'll see how we go. Now, <clears throat> uh, you'll have to have a Facebook ad account. I've obviously got one, Skillful Mind. You may have to create your own uh, page. And we'll have another video to show you that if you haven't already seen that from Josh. So now, going down uh, in order... Uh, the custom audience, uh, saved audience, I don't think, uh, we'll create a new audience. So the key here is, sorry, Theberton, South Australia is a suburb. So this is the suburb Theberton where we want it. Now, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either just sh choose the suburb or you can choose a location and then sometimes uh, you can choose like an area, like of say eight kilometers around a particular place. Uh, this isn't really letting me do that, but you can actually, I think you might even be able to choose an address, like a, a literally a, a, a point on where your class is, and then choose a radius of say 8 to 10 kilometers, or 5 kilometers. Just think how far people would be prepared to travel to come into your class, typically 5 or 6 kilometers. Now age 18 to uh, 65, I do find that people do tend to come, I uh, tend to be a little bit older. So I'm going to do like maybe 26 or older. Um, women do tend to come to m meditation classes more than men. So if you want, just for the purposes here, I'm going to do women, but you might want to target everybody, although generally women are tend to be more likely to come to meditation classes and then detailed targeting uh, let's have a look edit uh, so yeah the key here is meditation so we're going to target people with who are interested in meditation now over here it says your audience is too specific oh, well that's a bit difficult um, what I might do then is change this to um, I will zoom in here and I'm not actually oh yeah I do know where it is actually it's on South Road so Ashwin Parade. So this is the location of the actual place. So I've clicked it there and there you can see uh, there's this radius. So I'm going to change it 
to about eight kilometers. Maybe a little bit less, maybe five kilometers, six kilometers. Okay, so that's good. And I'm hoping, yeah, there you go. Potential is 53,000. 53,000. So I'm going to get rid of Beberton. And we've got 53,000. I might actually reduce it. Sorry to keep mucking around with this, but 5Ks. You know, the smaller the better. Because um, I know that people on the uh, east side of Adelaide are probably not going to travel across Adelaide to Debenham, but definitely people from right down near the coast will definitely travel up to Thebiton. So we'll, we'll, and for, it's still got 43,000 people, so that's pretty good. And that is all you need at this stage, and, and that's really important is getting this method. Now you can play around with this, you might want to look up other search terms. Um, but, you know, I'll stick with that and see how we go. So here's the... Um, we have already said $5 a day, so I'm not sure. Uh, this is more detail in spending. I don't think we need that. But Facebook seemed to be pretty good at targeting people. So now in creating your ad, uh, you can select a single image or video, which we've done. Uh, looks like they've just taken a default one. So we'll change the image. Now in the on some one of the folders, we have quite a number of images uh, to choose from. Um, so you can choose, so this is a smaller image, I still think it'll be okay, doesn't look like it's going to go in there, or you can upload an image, so you can either find images on Facebook which have uh, meditation in them, or you can, uh, you know, select one of our images. Um, actually, I've got here groups. That one's not too bad. Okay. Summertime here in Australia, so it's a bit of a summary image. Okay, and then uh, in terms of the text, we want to start with a question. Have you thought? It's it's actually it's just 2020, so how about? Is 2020 the year you start meditation? And then we want to, uh, so that's a question. Then we want to talk maybe a little bit of value. Say, um, you know, find peace in your life and join like-minded people and then we want to introduce a bit of scarcity so I uh, will say um, six places left for our class which I think is probably about right because I know that Sue has already got uh, 10 or so people uh, lined up and the, the place is fairly small so there's actually we are running short of people there 
and a headline um, so um, meditation class near you and description um, that usually goes underneath here um, so find your tribe and start meditation today okay I will uh, come up with some alternate text that you can ideas that you can use uh, this is really just for an example I might change this later now display link now we do have as you know uh, we do have Um, we do have we have created a page for you so ooh, I don't because this is new better to I hope this is Sue yeah here we are so that's uh, so we might as well use the uh, correct link sorry can't remember so that's and the call to action uh sign up book now i think or learn more learn more because we're going to go to a lead form Alright, so that ad looks good. Now, you can do some tricky stuff. You can change this into a video, which um, we'll show you a little later as well. So that's tracking, so I can spend all of that. Alright, there it is, and there it is in, in draft. Yeah. So the other thing that I actually need to do is we did actually, it just used the default lead form and we do need to create this lead form. So this is just the first step, okay? When, when they click the learn more, they go through to another page. And here, uh, we can use a different image or we can use the same image. So I will um, use the same image for now, um, meditation class in Theberton. Yeah, so you use image or you can upload a different image. Um, so that's So yeah, questions. Sorry, there needs to be, there's a paragraph here. I think if you do higher intent. Oh, that just adds in a review screen. So, down here, I usually like bullet points. Ah, oh, here we are, paragraph, bullets, here we are. So now this is where we put in the details from um, here, uh, so five dollar introductory class. So I'll put um, Monday nights, seven forty-five to eight forty-five. 
Monday night, 7.45pm to 8.45pm. And then Feb, 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 Ashram Parade. And uh, I'll put here a five dollar introductory course. Now, yep, so what else? Um, start your New Year's resolution for, <coughs> excuse me, less stress. Today, <sighs> I'll just change these to capitals. One way of uh, making people read it, put more stress on it, is to start each word with capitals. Sorry, I'm sneezing here. Okay, I think four points is okay. Four or five is generally what you want. Now, questions. Now, the more questions you have, the more, um, the more, um, less likely they are to go through. But there's one question which I think is vital, and that is their phone number. So these, the good thing about Facebook is Facebook will self-populate these questions. Like, I mean, when you go here, it'll already put their details in. So these are really the three questions you really want. And the key is phone number, because we want to give them a ring. Because often these people will fill the form in and then they'll forget to come. Now, privacy policy. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do either one. It says here you need a link. Now, if you have a privacy policy, you can create your own. Uh, the other option is um, we do have a privacy policy here. Um, it's actually for retreats and online courses. I may add one in here which is uh, bookings, that, uh, sorry, classes. So we, I can write a privacy policy for classes. So if you want, you can just use uh, skillfulmind.net slash terms dash conditions, terms and conditions. Um, otherwise, I will uh, let you know of another page if I create another set of terms and conditions. But for right now, we'll use that. And then the thank you screen. Uh, thanks, you're all set. Now, you can have them either call you on your number here. So we could use Sue's number or we could direct them to this website. Um, sorry. So we could direct them to this website, or we could direct them to Sue's uh, phone number. So I reckon I'm going to have. I'm going to try it where they where where they can call someone. So I've, normally I do this to a website, and this is Australia. Are you? Um, call us. Call to book. And then, um,
to confirm your booking, please call us by clicking the button below. We look forward to seeing you at class on Monday evening. In class, I'll say at class. Just and then instead of thanks, just one more thing. Okay, so basically, if you can talk to people, it's a much much greater chance that they'll come to your class. So I do everything I can to get people to contact me or to contact other people. Uh, I'll just get rid of the zero here. So that's it, and we'll finish that. Um, I'll just And there we have it. That is now complete. And I will show you, we will have a look at that to see if we get any hits tomorrow in 24 hours time. And I'll show you how to download any leads that you've got through this particular lead form. Okay, publish. And we'll leave it there. Okay, so it's a a few days later, it's about seven days later, I did actually stop it uh, for some various reasons and then restart it again. I changed it a little bit. But in general, you can see the ad here. And we've spent $8 and we have six results. Now, uh, you know, that's pretty good really. So we can just simply download um, the thing as a Excel spread sheet. And it gives us here all, there's lots of details actually, but the ones we're interested in is their name and phone number and, and perhaps their email. And then what you would do is you would give these people a ring. So all of these people are within eight kilometers of the class, are keen to come along to the class. And some of them may have already rung up already because the, uh, the, um, call to action was to actually call Sue's phone. But if not, I will get Sue to give these people a ring and have a chat about what they're after and see if she can persuade them to come along. And if one of them comes along and comes for five sessions for say $50, then, you know, $8 spent and you've got a new, a new person coming along. But there's no reason why two or three of these people may not come along. So that's it. It really, I think it is worth trying out Facebook when you're about to run a class for eight to ten dollars, six leads. You know, that's pretty good, I would say, if you want to get up and running fast. Okay, uh, Peter signing off.